Hello and welcome to this final instalment of um, Paris hauls. I will, what I will do with this, I will show you the clothes and I will wiggle myself to the side and then this blank side here I've just filmed all the try-ons so you get an idea. So I'll put each try-on in the side here. Um, I went to, for this um, trip, I only managed uh, three vintage shops because poor Ryan's knees were not cooperating and we'd already had a long day by then. But I'll list them below. There was a Giracel who went in, a Freep Star, um, and Vintage Byramon are the three I got stuff in. I did pop in and look at a couple of other Freep Stars, but they were quite busy and I was on a bit of a time crunch, so I didn't quite. But I will show you what we got. The first one we went into, which was the the carousel was it Freep Star? That's it. I think we went to go to the carousel, but it was closed, so we went to Freep Star. From memory, I'll list below the three vintage shops that I bought these things from, <laughs> or I'll put here which one it is because I'm sure it is a Freep Star we went to. Um, but yeah, the first one I spent <laughs> 35 30 No, that one goes there. 30 euros <laughs> trying to figure out where I got things from um, I've just tried this shirt on let me just quickly chuck a button on it too this one was 5 euros and it is this brand there's a little sign and it is a wacky busy um, 80s polyester shirt I know I don't usually go polyester I'm usually a, sound makes me sound posh I'm usually a silk, silk shirt girl but I do have some lovely polyester ones that are cooling and covering in the summer and this will be one of them it's fun it's interesting it goes really well with my hair so yeah so like everything I'm gonna um obviously take tags off and run all this through the washing machine I know they steam everything in the vintage shops and it does it smells lovely but I'm gonna wash it <laughs> just personal preference um, and then I got this amazing waistcoat, kind of had a waistcoat moment, um, which I'm pleased I did actually because I was in Primark yesterday and I spotted pretty much this exact waistcoat and obviously a different colour back for a lot more than five euros and it was this cream linen with little buttons waistcoat in Primark part of one of the, I think it might be a Rita Ora range or an edits range but yeah my one was second hand and five euros and I couldn't wait to layer it over like vest tops and t-shirts just as a fun layer and because it's like linen and this like polyester silk silky background background lining um yeah very nice and that was five euros still has the little tag on it so all good and it would be nice to actually layered up over long sleeve shirts or baggy ones poe t-shirts um and it'll be very nice with awesome stuff, you know. That with a red skirt and boots and yeah. Forest elf kind of vibes. Speaking of forest elf kind of vibes, I got this. It is a cardigan, technically, where someone has cut the sleeves off and just tack stitched the armholes. Part of it is undoing, so I will redo it, obviously. But me and my constant, I'm going to sew things to make them moss. I'm going to sew this and make it look like moss because yeah it's a lovely green I'm not hung up on the triangle pattern but it's the softness it's lovely and soft and I do like the little wooden button or wooden effect buttons so yeah so and I thought this would be great mossed up so I can look like a goblin forest elf kind of vibes and then I got this amazing t-shirt uh, which was five euros it is um a lovely 80s tag in it and what is cool is it's a vintage size 16 and i fit it how cool is that um my favorite thing is this neckline but look it stretches <laughs> and yeah it's like heavy duty t-shirt in meets nearly sweatshirt in so yeah so and it's a lovely pink and it's got like a bit of uh, sewn detail across the chest 
and you go down at the bottom and it says mechanics of time so I just thought it was really fun I do like fun shirts and I don't actually have a vintage t-shirt like this I've got a another high not as high as you know a sort of thicker neck white t-shirt I got that is great it's dated it's from like 91 from a zoo <laughs> But yeah, and this is one of my favourite things I bought. I did not go there planning to buy a coat. I did not go there planning to buy a trench coat. Because everyone's like, when you go to Paris, you must buy a trench coat. I was like, I don't, I don't suit trench coats. I'm a bit short. Um, it's just a bit, you know. In my brain, everyone looks like Inspector Gadget, <laughs> which I know isn't true, but that's how my brain processes trench coats oh, by the way I'm really sorry I look like a glamorous heap of shit we've had a lot of appointments today so we're at the end of the day <laughs> but yeah this one however is so smart it buttons up at the front in these little hidden bits of pocket um and you know it's wonderful I love it it's got velvet behind the underneath the collar so you can have it up or fold it under and then it has velvet on the cuffs and it has the most beautiful rounded shoulder pads your I mean, shoulder pads can be a bit 80s this one really helps and um, it fits beautifully there is no size in it well no a lie there is a size a 10 apparently and it was made in thailand and it's polyester and the trim is cotton and it's dry clean only that's all it tells me i do not have a brand or anything so question mark but it was 10 euros and it's lovely i have worn it already and it's going to be like the perfect spring jacket because it's thin but it's sort of shower proof as well as um in the autumn and especially halloween that might i've got bat glass bat winged glasses with bats on them and dark purple hair and green hair and <laughs> it looks so good it kind of in my head replaces i have the most beautiful corduroy um burgundy um laura ashley coat oh, it's big victor big like victorian leg of mutton sleeves and oh it's lovely it's too big for me now <laughs> it sucks it just looks like i'm playing dress up so i've got to sell it so that replaces my goth coat in my head because I'm having to get rid of my lovely Victorian-y Laura Ashley long coat. I've now got a black one. So we'll go bat just purely so I can shout like Matt Berry and go bat whenever I feel the need. And I think it needs a pin saying bat. But yeah, I love those. Those were from, yeah, the... Let me see if I can pull it up. I think I might have even screenshotted it the other day. Let me pause you and come back to you found it I did screenshot it out of my um google map saved anything I wanted to visit I've saved as a thing under Paris so yeah so all those are from Freep Freepstar Rivoli and I will link that one below and yeah and the next one I'll do the one singular thing is Vintage by Ramen R-A-M-I-N so yeah um it was it wasn't too bad though actually but um because i knew i was waiting brian was waiting for me i felt bad so i kind of took my time I, I, I sort of rushed when i would have preferred to take the time but yeah i got this skirt the tag is so faded and it's just got someone's initials written on in sharpie and it has been adjusted at some point because the joys are so in yeah a zigzag stitch so someone has adjusted this at some point and I think they have taken it in judging by the elastic on the back or they have cut it the sides but either way I don't mind it fits me and it's this wonderful it's pleated I'm assuming this is the front because the gather to me goes at the back but either way I can wear it whatever way I want but yeah there's the pleat side there's the gathered side this wonderful swooshy skirt this wonderful colourful pattern and yeah it's super swooshy in summer summer and yeah that with some you know billowy shirt vest top it will be so so good so yeah so that was five euros from my um vintage 
by Ramon and then iron on to my last one which I got at Freepstar on Rue de la Verity um, there are a lot of fruit stars down that way so um, this is the one I went in it had a basement bit which was pretty cool so yeah so I looked at the top bit and then went downstairs and I had quite a bit in the basement so I had a look there as well so but what got my eye literally as I walked in the door was this cardigan now I love cotton novelty cardigans I have Halloween ones they are my pride and joy I love them I did have some Christmas ones but I've given them to family members I've got one more to give away and it's like Christmas themed not because I don't like them I just I don't like Christmas <laughs> so yeah so I'd rather people who enjoy Christmas enjoy them instead of me only thinking oh, well, I suppose I'll wear my Christmas cardigan because I own one um, I'd rather someone who does enjoy that time if you really thoroughly enjoy it and that's why I quite like one of the items in here is a festive red <laughs> so yeah so I got this amazing cardigan it is school themed <laughs> so yeah it's got a little lunchbox um, a tree a little quill it's got a pencil and then on this side apples and books and then a sheep and a weird American flag and a little schoolhouse and the sleeves have got like gingham and flowers and then on this side it's hearts and um, tulips let me turn it over there's a schoolhouse and then there's a seesaw and playing on the playground and yeah and it's that it's quite heavy but yeah it's super soft like sort of half cotton half is it it is um vintage cna um half cotton half remy so yeah um which is all cool so yeah so i'm very happy with that that was 15 euros but they are pricey when you find them so to find one for 15 euros was amazing and then i found this for five euros reduced from 10 and this is a size 18 according to the tag and it is a velvet um, quilted vest and the inside is satin and it is the most uh, if I do this so you can see the try on it is the most beautiful jolly red and it's so happy and yeah this was five euros and I thought that with you know something warm under it just as my festive nod you know I don't necessarily want to be Christmas I would quite happily be holly berries <laughs> for Christmas <laughs> so yeah um this one does not have a try on because it does not fit I knew it would not fit when I bought it it was 10 euros it's 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 lovingly handmade but what got me was I loved the colour of it and I thought I can remake this to fit me and just give it a new waistband but I love the colour of this satin and it is so pretty um, it was worth 10 euros for the fabric is how I thought of it and I thought well if I take the waistband apart remake it give it a new waistband perfect so it's this pleated satin skirt that when I hold it up against me goes down to just about my ankles so hope probably once worn and pulled up a bit mid calf and it has some very deep pleats in it so there is quite a lot of fabric in it so when I unpick it um, and remake it because I love it pleated it's beautiful pleated so when I make it and yeah I'm going to replete it and I think give it a a waistband I might use this as the outside fabric all the way around and then give it a different one on the inside or something and give it some elastic just because I'm not the biggest fan of openings in skirts so and this one is just a nice basic bar and hook but still I'm still not a fan of it but I'm going to remake this with this and it's like the most wonderful sort of green sort of sea wash green it's it's so pretty and feels so fancy so yeah so whoever made it made it really well you know it's got beautiful hems on it 
so I do thoroughly appreciate what they've done I just need to make it fit me because my bum's a bit big <laughs> and that was 10 euros but I think that was worth it so yeah so in total that was 25 day 60 euros I spent in Paris which I don't think was too bad for the amount of clothes I got and I do know when I go back in July I've got free reign on my time shops are open till like eight or nine which is deadly but um i am saving to go so <laughs> we're back on the saving funds um so yeah so that's that's how we do holidays if you want to have a nice holiday you've got to save for it so yeah <laughs> but as you can see 60 euros gets you a lot of stuff and i was particularly picky i didn't pick up stuff because i liked it there was some stuff i liked I thought, oh, that's nice but i won't wear it <laughs> and i wasn't oh that's good for someone else I'm trying not to do that unless it's really really specific and I know exactly exactly like I know my sister likes 80s dresses but they've got to be pastel they've got to be a certain thing and they've got to be a certain fabric she's not huge polyester but she's not huge you know so there are specifics real specifics I run with but I'm very happy with what I got I got stuff for all seasons I call myself a coat which is so cool see you know so i'm very happy with my buys and yeah i hope you've enjoyed the final of the uh, french french halls just had to wait a little bit longer for this one because i had to be in the mood to film tryons but i hope they popped up okay here and i left enough space you know um and yeah but no everything fits beautifully and as i want it to apart from the skirt but i knew that when i bought it it would not fit me um i bought it for the fabric and to remake it so that is actually an afternoon project unpicking it repleating it elastic done so yeah so that's when i fancy a bit of sewing but don't want anything too complicated i'll do that so but for now i'm gonna go take all the tags off and put everything apart from the coat in the wash because the coat doesn't need to go in the wash um and yeah I will catch up with you beautiful folks next time uh, please let me know what your favorite if you have a favorite vintage shop in Paris or you know let me know if you're good because I'm always up for suggestions um, or what is your favorite thing of vintage clothing you've found or second-hand clothing you know could be anything you know because I'm hoping to hit up some Emus Emus shops that are more like French charity shops next time so that will have some homeware and other bits in it so that'll be fun to see but yeah so let me know and if you did enjoy this please subscribe if you're not already drop us a like just so I know you like these things and it's not me rambling to my camera and yeah on that lovely note I shall see you folks in the next video bye